Greetings, Daniel Persedo for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended. And today we're going to look at image based lights, IBLs as they're commonly referred to. And I have this scene here on the beach with the uh, ampersand logo that Adobe uses quite often. And the background is a beach. I have taken a panoramic shot of it and I'm going to add that in a, in a moment. But right now you can see that I have only an infinite light in my scene and it doesn't quite look right. It doesn't look filled in it doesn't look like this the light should match there but I do have a sunlight object here which I kind of works but I need that other ambient light here then to fill it in to make it look good so right now I'm going to go and grab my IBL map you can find in the 3d panel under environment and as you see when I click here the blue square I'm in the environment mode but there's no map here let me switch tools and there's nothing to see so when I toggle between camera and environment there's nothing unusual here because it's it's blank or it's black here in this case we're gonna load this texture from disk and let's see what happens Ta da look at that it already looks better right okay so the image is actually really close to where I want it so I'm not gonna mess with it right now there you go I'm gonna click again this is the camera this is the environment map it allows you to move the environment map to however you want to place it in the scene and you can see that there's already some color to this scene. We'll do a quick render here if there is such a thing. And is it going to build the scene, prepare the textures, and boom, there we go. And already it looks way better. That is actually a better approximation of what it should look like if that were to exist on the beach in Davenport, California. And that is a very common use case for an IBL or an image based light is to match the appropriate subject matter, 3D mesh, whatever you have there very quickly very easily and as you can see there's not much to it more than that you can start playing with the light and do interesting things and I, I encourage you to keep trying different things you know just you don't even have to use that background maybe you want to have it a different color or change the material properties on the on the object it's an opportunity to really explore lighting in a different way than having to set up lights infinite light spotlights those can be fun, but sometimes using an image-based light is just a real easy shortcut to getting there quickly. Comments and questions, welcome. Thanks.